nowhere, nowhere is the United States or North America or the Americas or the so-called New World directly or overtly referred to in Scripture. The closest we can come is the term all nations. Now, if it says all nations, and it means something globally, not just all the nations of the Middle East or the nations around the Mediterranean, which is another technically complicated argument exegetically. Um, was it all the nations that were known to the author of that time, or does it mean all the nations for all time? Uh, if it is to be taken as universal, global, obviously it would have to include North America, South America, Canada, USA, etc. There's also a belief that some have of the lions and the young lions, that the young lions are the nations of the English-speaking world that came from Great Britain. Again, uh, this is speculative. Australia, New Zealand, Canada, USA, whatever. Um, again, it is speculative. It cannot be proven. It's an interesting thought, but it's something that cannot be proven. No, we cannot determine that Isaiah 18 is talking about the USA. First of all, we're told that this land, which lies beyond the rivers of Cush, the rivers of Cush has to do with the source of the Nile, the White Nile and the Blue Nile, converging in what is today Sudan, but Cush is essentially Ethiopia and a general term for Black Africa. Uh, it's a land that's beyond that. That's as far as it describes it. It doesn't sound like the New World or North America or South America. There's nothing exegetically or historically in the content that would suggest or even imply that. We continue, though, in verse 3, all you inhabitants of the world and dwellers of the earth. Well, again, in the exegetical context, the world, the earth, was it the known world of Isaiah's time, which was essentially the nations of the Middle East and around the Mediterranean, or was it the world globally? That is another exegetical question. It is purely speculative to say this is about the United States or about North America. There is no exegetical grounds to make that as any kind of a doctrinal conclusion. None. The United States is never specifically mentioned in Scripture. But thank you anyway for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church 
Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo. Harpezo. What the scripture actually teaches about the rapture. The snatching away, which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless, and Jesus be with you.